I think we've established here at the AMRC a model for how you bring industry, universities, and the government together to try to create value for the long term. It had started really as a kind of a tactical approach to expanding our research in metal removal technologies. Then what really emerged was the building of a collaborative approach with uh, people up and down the supply chain. So you can see out on the floor, we got people who have brought uh, milling platforms, turning platforms. We have people who make tools uh, and develop their, their own sense of how that approach should be that are, that are based here in Sheffield. Uh, those have been very strong partners to help us build that whole technology of what's the best way to attack a particular class of materials. And of course, from a Boeing point of view, there's lots of different type of materials that we have to work with, all the way from uh, titanium, aluminum, into the uh, high temperature alloys that are used for engines and so on. This is an area where academia and industry meet uh, on common ground. We've got industrial scale machinery in this facility, which allows us to actually demonstrate robust good rigor methods on our parts, which we can then take those methods and deploy straight back into the production line. You get the uh, supplier engagement early in the process, but also the supplier becomes on the technology journey with you as well. So they start to understand the, uh, the challenges that you're faced with, and they can uh, adjust their product line accordingly. It's been great the breadth of the different technologies that we've been able to look at here. The different type of platforms, whether it's a vertical mill, a mill turn, uh, all of those are here for us to look at. Uh, what we are challenged with doing is bringing uh, some unique problems here and trying to find the uniqueness of what's here to try to do something different than we can do elsewhere. Uh, we've been able to do that on several of the platforms and really come up with some unique solutions that have not been available to us elsewhere. Well, our industry is no different than any other manufacturing industry. To remain competitive, you've got to reduce your costs. And to reduce your costs, there's many ways of going about that, obviously. We've got one programme, for example, where the, we've got to build one aircraft a day. And to get one aircraft a day through our facilities requires heavy investment in technology. And robotics, or automation as we prefer to call it, is seen as one of the key enabling technologies to achieve that one aircraft a day. Now, we've no experience in robots as a company. So we've got to gain that knowledge through people who do have the knowledge and experience and the equipment. So here at the AMRC is an ideal environment, a safe environment, to conduct that type of early front R&D. Well, it's not really R&D in many ways, it's process development because robots obviously exist and how they can apply them to our existing manual processes. We've been able to take a, a more scientific approach. So the, the people at the AMRC bring the, the, the qualifications and the, uh, the, their excellent qualifications, their abilities, to harness the combination of scientific and technical knowledge to fit with these industrial problems we have. And it's been an absolutely excellent marriage. Well, we're definitely expanding this model into other areas, not only of technology, but across, across the globe. When you look at a place like the MRC, which we expanded from a core technology to a much broader range of uh, activities that really hit the whole manufacturing cycle, uh, you can come here and you can uh, participate, say for example, only in the machining areas maybe in the composite area or in the assembly area. There's really a breadth of a place like this. And that's part of its success story and also part of its challenge is how to maintain that breadth uh, and yet get people who are interested in it being able to cross different sections and get benefit from all of them. We have either started or initiating similar type of arrangements in Denmark, Italy. Uh, we're now looking at India, China, Japan. And so we're, we're carrying the model, really, of this collaborative uh, approach between industry, university, and government across the globe.